we had this, even though sometimes we didn't, couldn't communicate a lot, but um, there were certain things that just united us, even though it was like either it could be music or if it was just the ladies group, like with dancing or videos or the job that they do or what you eat for breakfast or your pets. There was so many similarities. Mm -hmm. How about the spilling of Islam? How it must be? Which kind of ways do you advise to the Muslims to spill Islam? Could you repeat the question, please? Uh, I mean, which kind of ways do you, do you advise to the Muslims to spread Islam? Marshall, you What's my you advice know? for Muslims to spread Islam? Well, yeah, what we advise, which kind of ways we have to, I mean, what we must to do? Okay, uh, what you, Muslims... You must stay in the home, pray five times and be close ourselves to home. Or okay. Because I'm like a convert, I still feel like sometimes like I'm an outsider looking in. And it should be the same thing as how I noticed Muslims. I noticed their good behavior. I didn't uh, notice them in any other way except how they behaved very good, very polite, nice manners. That's how I think Muslims can spread Islam. And they have to get out there and they have to be involved in the society and not close their doors and not just do things with people of their culture and their country. They really have to get out and mix is what is my advice to Muslims how to spread Islam. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say something else to the uh, Turkish audience? To the Turkish because, audience? Yeah, because this will broadcast in the next Holy Ramadan, inshallah. I would like to say to the people of Turkey, you have a wonderful, beautiful country. Keep doing what you're doing. And I love Turkey. I love the people. And I wish everyone there a very happy and blessed Ramadan. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome.